So I'm just cutting my grass and I just want to make you aware of one of the uh, main reasons we get a lot of injuries in the summer um, for hedgehogs and that is uh, garden equipment and machinery. Um, strimmers and lawnmowers particularly are very dangerous to hedgehogs. And I just want to uh, show you the, the danger areas that you really need to be checking before you are sort of cutting right up to the uh, edges of your lawn. So in this particular area here, we've got some overhanging um, plants. And this is a particular favourite area for hedgehogs to just rest during the day. And there could be a high possibility that a, a hedgehog will be um, asleep under these sorts of bushes that are overhanging the garden. So when you come to cut your grass or use a strimmer, it's really important that you just take five minutes to check underneath. So we're just gonna have a quick look under here. You wouldn't know unless you lift these bushes up, but there we've got a little hedgehog just to illustrate the sort of thing that I mean. So please just take a few minutes to lift the, the, uh, the plants at the edge of the garden before you cut the grass in these areas. Again, over here, we've got overhanging uh, plants. So just quickly, you know, lift them up. And there we've got another hedgehog, um, fast asleep, curled up. The problem is with hedgehogs, their natural defense is to curl up. So even if they hear a lawnmower coming, they won't run away. They'll just curl up in a ball. Um, and some of the most horrific injuries we see at the rescue are hedgehogs that have had um, their faces slashed open, their legs cut off. You know, I won't go into more graphic detail than that, but they are the worst injuries we see. Um, so please, you know, before you use any garden equipment, just check around the edges just to make sure that you haven't got any hedgehogs that are sleeping underneath the bushes and hedges. So this particular area is quite overgrown. Um, it's part of my border. Uh, but it has been um, neglected for a while. So you can see here, so we've got some long grass and some weeds, um, and you might be tempted to get the strimmer out and just, you know, whiz over those really quickly just to get rid of them. Um, but again, you know, this vegetation, the long grass, etc., is somewhere ideal um, for hedgehogs to nest during the day. So if you just, you know, pull some of this vegetation back, again, you know, you can have a hedgehog underneath there and you just wouldn't know and very quickly that hedgehog will be injured by the strimmer um, if you don't check. Although hedgehogs are nocturnal um, they do come out during the day especially in warm weather um, and they can be out sleeping um, during the day under bushes and vegetation. I know these images are difficult to look at, but this is the reality of what we deal with at the rescue on a daily basis throughout the spring and summer months. Sadly, many of the hedgehogs that arrive at rescues around the UK with strimmer injuries have to be put to sleep because their injuries are just too severe. On a positive note, here are two success stories. The hedgehog on the left lost part of its nose, but after treatment has made a full recovery. The one on the right arrived at the rescue with a huge gash down the length of its back. After many stitches, antibiotics, vet's visits and weeks of care at the rescue, it's well on the road to recovery and its spines will eventually grow back. These two are lucky, many are not so fortunate. Far too many hedgehogs are needlessly injured by careless gardeners who can't be bothered to check before using cutting equipment. It takes just a few seconds and saves such pain, misery and death for many hedgehogs. Saving the lives of our endangered hedgehogs is expensive. The cost of vet's bills, drugs, medical supplies, food etc. is substantial. We rely solely on public donations at Chorley Hedgehog Rescue. If you would like to find out how you can support our work, please visit our website for more information. Thanks.